Good morning. We recently stayed at Knoll House Hotel in Studland, at the eastern end of the Jurassic Coast in Dorset. I didn't plan to make a vid of Knoll House, so this isn't a normal hotel review. No pictures of enticing plates of food or plumped up pillows on the bed. But it's been so nice staying here, very homely, and the staff have been great, that I've put together a short vid to give you a feel for the place. Knoll House was established in 1931. It's a family hotel and dog friendly, so Edith, the miniature schnauzer, came with us. It's really quirky, with some interesting twists, and it's in a great position overlooking the sea, within a short stroll of a wonderful sandy beach. It's also a great base when visiting the area, with Corfe Castle, and Swanage close by. Hotel residents can sit in the garden at the front of the hotel having lunch or a drink and take in the views. This gull was more interested in the view of our lunch though. Chips! Where's the chips? Who's got the chips? We'll walk up the drive and turn down this walkway on the left. There's a game of chess going on here. In front of us you can see two large stones built into the wall. These are dinosaur footprints discovered in a local quarry. Remember, we're on the Jurassic coast here, and footprints like this are still regularly unearthed in local quarries. In case you can't make out the footprints, I've drawn in an outline of each one. These footprints were made by an Iguanodon, and they're over 100 million years old. Over the wall at the back, we can see the hotel's outdoor swimming pool, which I was pleasantly surprised to find is heated. And look at that fantastic view of the Purbeck Hills. If we continue walking up the drive, we come to the children's adventure playground. It's really very impressive. Inside, the hotel has a very 1950s feel. This chair was apparently specially made for a very large man indeed. The children's author Enid Blyton stayed at Knoll House many times in the 1940s and 1950s. Some of the locations in her famous five books were inspired by places around the local area here, including Corfe Castle and Brownsea Island. The hotel has a collection of Enid Blyton memorabilia, and you can follow in her footsteps along the Enid Blyton Trail. I'll put a link to this in the text below. Poor Enid has fallen out of favour now. I'll leave you to Google why that is but her books were very popular with children at the time. She had over 600 books published and sold over 600 million copies worldwide. Knoll House is the sort of hotel that you either love or not love. We love it and will hopefully visit again next year. As well as local places of interest, it's a great base for local walks. The next vid in this series covers our walk from the hotel to Aggleston Rock. Don't miss it!